Okay, here's a list of the ingredients needed to make a bolognese sauce. First chop the onion, peel. Didn't want too fine a chunk for this, it's going to be slow cooking. slit across the top. Some people do it the other way first, but I think it's easier. The storage top for after. Celery. Okay, the mirepoix, onion, celery, carrot are cooking down nicely. We're just going to add the smoked bacon pieces in now. Very close up. This is really nicely in the pan. I try not to move the pan too much for the heat. Okay, we've added the bacon, that's cooking away nicely and we'll add oh, just under a tablespoon of tomato puree enough. and let that cook through take the rawness off Okay, we've added the mince, and we'll let that cook down to remove all the water content until it starts going brown and caramelising, and it stops sizzling. Can you see the water content? And the hearing the sizzle? I want to cook that out, that's when the mince will start to smell like beef. I know that horrible, yucky smell. Nice crispy bits as well. Another five, ten minutes, isn't it? No need to rush it. Oh, and by the way, this is the size of space I'm cooking in here. And the pan isn't actually finished. <laughs> and this is it. Smelling delicious. Mm -mm. Now we're going to add the cooked tomatoes, no, sorry, the cooked onion, carrot, celery mix. We'll cook up for another couple of minutes. Okay, I've had to shut the door a bit because it's started to really pelt down my train. As you can see, the mince, onion, celery, carrots, and whatever else is in there. It's all cooking away. Now to add the tomato puree and the rest of it. Okay, that's it coming up to a simmer now. I'll be turning it down in a minute. I've added salt and pepper. 
just the taste really and half beef cube and that just gave that little bit of darkness and meatiness just get a little stir to do it and I'll see you in about 40-45 minutes and we're actually in a car park you know, it's the like overflow car park next to fields, very peaceful in the summertime you kind of get moved here for kids and Sunday those beach dwellers, whatever you call them that's in the distance, there's St Abs over there, you can see it and the St Vidas Hotel, surf shop, very good people if you ever need to go surfing it, this is Coldenham Bay by the way, Coldenham Sands and I'm away in there we go, it's cooking down lovely just simmering away nice and it's been on the go for maybe 20 minutes now and maybe another 15-20 minutes, we'll see oh, look at this rain just as well I've not finished my van yet, eh? it's a lovely place, much nicer when it's sunny never mind this is not a drought. And here it is. It's been cooking down oh, now for 50 minutes, all in. And I must say, it's tasting absolutely delicious. The carrots are cooked down nice and soft, the onions are soft, and all the flavours have come together. Yes, I would like the bay leaf and some fresh herbs to put in, but I forgot them, so next time, it's still delicious, so I'll show you a plate of the food when it's finished because it's too much rain where I am just now, so I'm going to take it home, finish it off, maybe have it with pasta and some parmesan, you can turn this into a chilli, it's just a basic ragu sauce, you can do whatever you want mate, lasagna, chilli, bolognese, anything you like. See you soon.